Hello, Slots Enthusiasts. How are you? It's great to hang out with you again on another Professor Slots podcast episode and live stream. Today, we're diving into the latest in casino reopenings in the states of Oklahoma, Wisconsin, and Washington. But I'll do a re tour of the country, as it were, um, to uh, recent live streams. In the recent live streams, we've talked about the reopenings at tribal casinos in Oklahoma. Um, we have more to talk about them, but this week, casinos have also reopened in Wisconsin and the state of Washington. Um, are, there, are there slots tight, loose, or first loose, then tight after opening uh, each day, as we've seen at many Oklahoma tribal casinos? Well, We'll know what's what, thanks to casino reports from members of our state-by-state -state slots communities on Facebook. That's coming up. But first, if you're with us during the live stream, make sure you say hello to, in the live chat uh, and let us know where you are at or where you play slots. Um, those, of you, those of you that are uh, here often um, know about that, but we always have um, new and more people, uh, uh, which is great. We're growing, um, and that's what we would like you to do, to introduce yourself just a bit. Um, I'll check in with the live chat in a few minutes. I was monitoring it before we got, uh, went live, uh, and it was great to see how many people were there. Um, uh, but in the meantime, feel free to among, talk amongst yourselves. Uh, and uh, as usual, ask your slots related questions. Uh, I'll answer those before the end of the show. Um, thanks again for joining us today, whether you are listening on the podcast, watching this video later, or here with us on the live stream. I'm glad you're all here. I've as I've mentioned in the past, uh, we've been getting great casino reports in our private Facebook communities for states where casinos are reopening. If you aren't in a state with reopened casinos, uh, get a jump on knowing what's going on there by joining our state by joining your state's group. There, you can keep an eye on what others are hearing and doing at their local casinos, at your local casinos. There's lots of good information there, which is easy to which isn't easy to find anywhere else. For example, members share direct emails from their casinos players clubs about reopening plans such as soft openings, invite onlys, hours, safety restrictions, and, and more. I'm sure uh, we've even got some reports of permanently closed casinos. I'm, I'm sure you remember... Um, I, I'm sure you're a member of your casino's player club and already get those emails, but what about casinos a little further away where you aren't a member, aren't yet a member? And what if your casino hasn't opened yet, but that one has? Well, here's how you find out details of, the, of your less frequented casinos from slots enthusiasts just like yourself. Uh, or, uh, and please share your own information from your local casinos for all all the other members of your group. So uh, find your state's private uh, slots community at professorslots.com slash FB and join now. Uh, you need to be approved, but I will approve people after I'm done with the live stream. Uh, so I dropped into the chat here uh, the link for the list of uh, to each state and also Professor Slots enthusiasts, uh, kind of like all states uh, slots community and they're all private and of course free uh, so um, but I haven't uh, all right so these these live streams are also meant to build community uh, between us slots enthusiasts and I certainly include myself in that group uh, and uh, but it's kind of that this this community is for for everyone as well. Um, and I've been trying to offer these live streams every week. I've so far been successful uh, 27 times. Uh, so that's last week would have been marked six months of weekly shows um, where I pick a topic and we talk about it. Uh, it's something that seems relevant to everybody. And lately it's been a lot of good information coming out of the slots community. And I try to update people once a week. Uh, but if you're, again, if you're in that state, and I don't mean to harp on this, but if you're in that state where casinos are reopenings, um, you know, waiting until a Saturday afternoon to get the update for the week is a bit late and you might want to uh, check daily, that sort of thing. Um, so, uh, um, Okay, so one of the things I haven't been doing, and I probably should, uh, is I haven't been really been introducing myself, so I'll, I'll do that. Hi, my name is John Friedel, 
Welcome to Professor Slots, a channel that's all about mastering casino slots so you can win your way to success. If you've ever walked into a casino, looked around and wondered what's going on with slots, I can help. I, I recognize that in the U.S. where I'm located, this is a holiday weekend and attendance to today's show may be a bit low. We'll see how it goes. But as always, it'll be available later for viewing on YouTube and tomorrow night around 7 p.m. Eastern time for listening on my podcast called Professor Slots, available wherever you find podcasts. Um, finally, I should also Finally, I should also mention uh, that I have a website. Um, it's surprising to me how many people don't know that, but uh, I have a website uh, with many helpful articles on casino slots. That's at professorslots.com. There you'll find my winning slot strategies, weekly state-by-state -state reviews of their slots industry in that state, or territory, or the federal district, uh, casino reviews, uh, those that I've been to in the local area and whenever I travel. Um, I, I'm trying to do more of those as I spread myself out over the country a little bit, uh, and a whole lot more that's freely available. Too often, I don't mention all of this free content is available to help you improve your slots gambling performance, mostly because I'm, you know, I'm trying to grow community here, uh, but I should mention at least every few videos what's going on, what's available for you. Uh, so it's, it's um, uh, more than just answer me question, answering my questions. You can find all kinds of artic articles on specific topics, money management, and, and just a whole lot more. So uh, I haven't covered everything yet. There's just so much to write about. Um, there's so much to record and, and you know, either for the podcast or for the live stream or even recorded videos put up on YouTube. But if you have a question or want to discuss a topic I haven't already covered um, or you want more detail, comment on this video in YouTube. Or if you're listening to the podcast, just shoot me an email at john at professorslots.com where John is spelled J-O-N. Uh, let me see if I, I will drop that into the live chat as well. Um, I see stuff going on in the live chat, and I'm trying not to let myself get distracted by that like I have in the past. I'll come back to you guys in just a second. Um, uh, finally, if you need any help with any specific needs, I also have limited time slots available each week for personal consultation. In, an inexpensive 50-minute consultation is available at professorslots.com slash consult. And all these links, um, and there's a few more coming up on, on uh, the tracker uh, from the American Gaming Association stuff, but I'll, I'll make these available in the video uh, for re listening later in the live chat now and also in the um, show notes for the podcast. So you shouldn't be, if you can either just back up a little bit and listen to it again, um, or you'll find them written down somewhere in the descriptions, uh, various places for this. So I've mentioned all these options to my Professor Slots content, uh, Slots Communities podcast, website, and more, because recent feedback I've gotten from my audience, uh, audiences is that, well, I don't mention it enough. Uh, and I'm not going to blast you with this all the time, but uh, maybe you don't know about it. Uh, you mean, I, I, the comments I get are basically, you mean I... You mean I have useful slots information elsewhere and I haven't told you about it? Well, you know, yes, I do. Um, so, for instance, many members of my slots communities aren't aware I have a website uh, with lots of slots articles, much less a book available on Amazon. Um, did I mention the book? Uh, I have mentioned the book here before, but it's, it, it's called Learning to Win. I hope that captures it. Uh, it's available on Amazon as a uh, soft cover uh, paperback, not cup paperback, soft cover it's called. And also as an ebook, and I'm working on an audio book. Uh, it takes a while to get it through. Apparently everybody's doing it right now. Um, so it's called Learning to Win, How to Make a Profit at Slot Machine Gambling. Uh, it looks like I showed you, and it's also available, as I said, as an ebook. Anyway, uh, we should move forward, and let's see what's going on in the live chat uh, within the live stream. Oh my, oh my, just lots of comments. Uh, Chip has a question. Um, I'm going to say hello to everybody, Chip, and then I'll, I'll come back to your question. I promise this time. I, I know one time I didn't do that before, uh, but I promise I'll come back to it. Let's see. But hello, Chip. Uh, hello, Joe. Uh, Joe's in California. Uh, Paula is here. Uh, she's from my hometown, Flint, and family. Uh, 
<laughs> uh, and and feel free to talk to much yourselves about tea. I didn't mean to be harsh uh, last week if I was harsh um, about talking about uh, non-slots. Uh, uh, you know, become friends, um, talk about stuff. But uh, and maybe occasionally I'll talk about how much I like chocolate too. Um, <laughs> Um, so, uh, let's see, uh, uh, Lois and Dave are also here. They're currently in Ontario. They spend about half the year in Florida. Um, again, family friends. Uh, let's see, Denise is here. She is, uh, lives in Texas, plays in Oklahoma. Um, she is, uh, what, um, what did Facebook, what was a Facebook badge, um, that you got, Denise, something about? Conversation starter. That's right. <laughs> On the Oklahoma Slots community. Um, uh, so uh, Scott is here from Ozark, uh, Mon Missouri, sorry, uh, near Springfield. Um, Scott, thank you so much, Scott, because I hate to get 15 minutes in and forget I pushed a button. Um, thank you. He says the video and the sound is good. Um, actually, I've been working on that a little bit. You might have noticed the headset's gone, but I can still hear things. I'm just trying to make slow improvements, just make things uh, better. Yeah, thank you, Chuck, for the good audio. Um, it, I think it wasn't so much last time. Um, it's hard to do anything about it once you upload it to YouTube. There's n nothing you can really do. I can fix it in the podcast, but um, do some renormalizing. But i uh, got some adjustment, adjustments going on here, and, and that's always a little bit of technical work to take it the next step up. But thank you. Uh, Les, uh, Leslie from Oregon. Uh, your name in YouTube is Leslie from Oregon? <laughs> that's efficient. That, uh, uh, so Oregon has seven... Uh, seven feathers. This is a sort. Of, okay, so Leslie is going to say something, which is one type of comment that we get in our slots communities, and I'll, I'll read it to you so you understand um, kind of the feedback that we're getting, and you know might want to consider joining uh, your states to get this sort of uh, feedback. So um, Leslie from Oregon says, uh, "Ours that is this, uh, their." Uh, casino seven feathers is requiring masks and valid ID. No uh, bingo, though. Uh, the spa is open by appointment only, and so is the pool. All right. Uh, they are only open from 7 to 2.30 a.m. They are not 24 hours yet. This is, you know, great information. We have other comments that people make uh, that talk about, I went, and this was what it was kind of like uh, inside the casino, maybe the lines were long or, you know, little comments about, well, I can't sit down with my friend at another slot machine because they'll come along and tell me to move along because I need to bet. Stuff like that, you know, and it's not every casino that does that, but it's a sort of, um, you know, man on the ground, boots on the ground, uh, woman on the ground, uh, uh, you know, they're there. And they're commenting about what it's like. And you, it's like I said, it's real hard to get this sort of information anywhere else. Um, so Leslie says other casinos in Oregon are opening up too. Don't know all details for others. Uh, thank you. Uh, if everyone does their part, as you have, uh, uh, particularly in the Oregon slots community, uh, we're doing great. Uh, so Frank says, uh, hi, Frank, um, uh, Frankie G here from New York. Um, <laughs> thanks for the good info. You're, you're, you're welcome. Um, I just want to make sure everybody has, uh, aware of where everything is for, for me, my website is home base. Everything is there except the live video. Um, uh, I, I, I want the live video, you know, it's only good for until the next live video. Does that make sense? It's not what I, the website is meant for evergreen content. If you know the terminology about having a website. Um, hi, Steve. Uh, Steve is in Wisconsin. Welcome. Um, let's see. Dean is in Nevada. Uh, and he jumps right in. Uh, Nevada to Gover Governor Sisolak uh, sets target date of June 4th for reopening gaming industry uh, in Nevada. Wow. Uh, I... There's so much to say about that. It's really so much to say about that. Um, yep, Catherine's here. Hello, Catherine. Uh, she's in Washington. Uh, now, I always know that I misspelt this, misspeak this casino name. Uh, I L A N I. Uh, too many vowels. Sorry. Uh, Alani. Um, uh, and Alani opens on the 28th. Uh, so a few more days. Um, 
uh, Catherine says it's a great book. Uh, she got hers from Amazon. Uh, and uh, thank you, Catherine. I appreciate that. Um, uh, Lois, um, <laughs> Lois and Dave know that I'm working on an audio book. Uh, there was um, a lot of uh, removal of <sighs> sort of sounds. <laughs> and once I removed 150 of those, uh, I, I, and drop the noise for technical things. Um, the podcast can have a few bumps and some other things, but the audiobook has just got to be really cleaned up. Uh, and it is seven hours, 58 minutes, and 40 seconds long. So there's a bit to go through. Uh, and with the pandemic, everybody's uh, you know, making audio versions of their own books. So the queue is like a month long. Um, probably not within the month. Uh, what other questions you might have would be, how much would it be? Uh, well, uh, I don't get to determine that. Uh, it's usually roughly determined by the length. And since mine is just about eight hours, should be about the same price as the uh, cover, the 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 um, soft cover and uh, the ebook. Uh, so um, yeah, I, I, when I know more, I will let you know. I just don't want to get people too hyped too fast, and then they sort of um, lose interest after a month and a half. So uh, I'll, I'll once I know exactly the date, then then we'll do a proper launch. Uh, so Davis here, uh, he's from Oregon also, uh, and uh, he went to one of their open casinos, uh, Chinook Winds on the coast, mask required, temperature check at the door, no smoking, uh, that's unusual, right? Uh, and no table games open, okay. Dave says he only saw three hand pays all in high stakes. Uh, which state are you in, Dave? I don't think you mentioned it earlier trying to remember. Um, oh, sorry, you, you just said. Uh, yes, uh, Dave in Oregon only saw three hand pays, um, and they were all in the high stakes area. Uh, yes, yeah, see, this is the sort of thing you look at that and you say, um, uh, and, and in his opinion, slots seemed about average to him. Uh, to him. So, uh, all right, and Catherine's in Oregon, uh, but Lonnie, and I'm probably pronouncing that terribly, uh, is 20 minutes away from her. Okay. Uh, Scott says, okay. Uh, so Scott says he went to a soft open in down, at Downstream in uh, northeast Oklahoma. Uh, oh, he didn't go. His friend went. And his friend said it was not full and not many bells and whistles going off. He, go, uh, he goes enough. He was disappointed. All right. Uh, and Dave says, Dave from Oregon says, my casino host called and said Lonnie is having a soft opening for VIPs on the 26th and 27th. Yeah, I just got a message from, uh, I shouldn't say message, a comment on one of the Facebook groups. I think it was Professor Slots Enthusiast um, who was saying, hey, how do I get invited to an uh, uh, invite only? Uh, situation and I, I basically said um, you know I believe you have to be pretty high tier uh, or potentially if you know someone who's high tier and got the invite I'm pretty sure these things are guest plus one and you could be plus one to somebody if they don't have uh, a friend uh, to go with right um, so uh, and I've taken plus ones uh, to some events um, I took my sister to a three-day a three night, four day uh, trip to Las Vegas uh, a couple of years ago and gave her my companion card. I was seven stars at the time uh, and gave her my companion card. And she never experienced anything like that before. Uh, she loves Las Vegas, but never stayed on the strip, you know, and much less all the comps, <laughs> all the comps on your, um, uh, you know, your annual trip that they give you for seven stars or did back in the time, back in a couple of years ago now. Um, so Paula says, I wonder what happens if it's my turn for a temperature check and I have a hot flash. <laughs> Maybe a little personal, Paula. <laughs> um, uh, right. Um, yeah, that's, yeah. What if you have a negative? See, that's the, some, that's some of the stuff that's sort of coming up, uh, in discussions on the slots communities. We, uh, I'll mention a security guard that um, uh, found out to have it, and he was 
the entrance security guard and some of the things that sort of happened after that. Some of the comments, we'll, we'll get into that. Um, uh, slot machine wins by Chico. Hello, I'm from New Mexico and went to PHX, Phoenix area, and won $6,200 at four casinos, two ha jackpot hand pays. Casinos seem to be paying out just normal. Um, thank you for letting us know about the New Mexico uh, casinos. Um, of course, everybody here knows um, you know, you may have won $6,200 in four casinos, but how much did you take home, right? Because uh, $10,000, you spent $10,000 and won $6,200. Um, it's just one of those things uh, that we ask about. Um, I try to tell people right from the beginning, uh, it's not revenue. It's not winnings. It's profit. Um, <laughs> yes, Paula, I'm laughing. Uh, that, that was funny, uh, what you said. Um, so uh, I will come back to the live chat in a little bit, um, uh, and because there's quite a bit more to say. Uh, I, I have had live chat, uh, live streams where it was entirely questions, uh, and you know we'll do that again. But I'm trying to uh, service more people. Um, uh, and I will check in and momentarily. Uh, oh, Richard is here from Western uh, North Carolina. He got, on, got in under the wire, wire there, Richard. Um, uh, so, uh, so, as I've mentioned, today's topic of interest is casino reopenings. Um, according to the helpful casino tracker from the American Gaming Association, and in case you don't have that link, even I had trouble remembering kind of like this long link, which I will drop in the chat. If you're listening uh, to this later, watching this later, or listening to this later, um, I'm, I made an easy to remember, uh, convenient, uh, short uh, URL uh, link uh, to that tool. And it, as I often do uh, this for other things, um, professorslots.com slash tracker professorslots.com slash tracker and it'll take you directly to the American Gaming Association uh, down in the research group into their casino tracker um, but it says that today there are 162 casino properties that have reopened and uh, 827 have closed. Now I'm going to double check that for just a second because when I went through thoroughly a casino tracker um, uh, that was about two and a half hours ago. So just now I said 162 casino properties have reopened and 827 remained. Well, in the last two hours, two have opened. So now 164 casino properties have reopened. And it's a, it's a fairly live tool. I haven't found um, too many issues with it. We'll talk about one in Nebraska shortly, but I, I don't know that's necessarily that the tool's wrong so much as something else. And we'll get into that. I'll, I'll mention it in a moment. Uh, I hate to put that off, but I don't want to be too distracted. We'll come to it. Um, so in case you're listening to this later, uh, I, as I said, I have uh, created professorslots.com slash tracker to take you directly to that tool. Basically, it's a map. It gives you two numbers on the current status, how many closed, how many open. And then there's a map that they put together, interactive map that you can zoom in on of the United States. And uh, beneath it are uh, some, uh, uh, you know, codes. So on this map, it has shows open casinos in teal. A uh, little symbol, little icon. Uh, it's a type of blue, and the closed casinos are in red. Now, the, to distinguish between commercial casinos and circu uh, and, and tribal casinos, the circu the the commercial casinos are square icons. Uh, if they're if they're open, they're blue. If they're closed, they're red. Uh, and the uh, tribal casinos are circular icons. Again, uh, open, blue, closed, red. Now, you can zoom in and also pan on the map, and I'll let you figure out how to do that. Uh, and if, so if you go to professorslots.com slash uh, tracker, uh, you'll find that. Uh, and um, so I, I'm going to go over this. Uh, I think I'll check the live chat. I see a bunch of comments. Um, let's see here. Um, 
So Slot Machine Wins by Chico said, took home all of it. Took home all, took 5K and went home with, uh, all right. Well, sounds like you must've won non-taxable jackpots to be able to accomplish that. Uh, Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, slot machine by uh, wins by Chico. Uh, he says a kind of why I said one. A win is what I go home with, not just what I hit. Um, uh, great. Um, the oh, so 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 the sixty four hundred uh, or sixty two hundred is not just hand pays, but also uh, non taxable jackpots. Because that's what you just said, right? Um, in any case, uh, one of the things I and we'll <laughs> keep on coming back to that comment I want to make about Nebraska, but I'm putting it off. Uh, definitions are very important. What do you mean by a word? And I appreciate you telling us what a win means to you. Thank you. I have the same problem with payout returns. I call I consider them two different things. Uh, payout, I would say, is theoretical and sometimes a law, and returns. Uh, are the return statistics that are reported. And if you're a finance person, I would call that actuals. Uh, and, you know, definitions are important, so we know what we're talking about. That's why I have an article on definitions. Um, in any case, uh, uh, let's see, what else did he say? He or she? Um, yeah. Uh, so uh, Steve says, uh, nice job. Uh, and are you a professional gambler or just lucky? Uh, give us some tips. Uh, be aware, Steve, that's what he's looking for, I'm pretty sure. Um, anyway, moving on to uh, what we're here to talk about. Uh, feel free to talk amongst yourselves. Um, when I zoom in on the map uh, and pan on the map, uh, it looks like almost half the tribal casinos in the state are open. Um, yeah, uh, right. Okay. I won't do anything about slot machine wins by Chico. Uh, I hope you're here to listen and not, um, capture audience from me because that would be rude. Anyway, moving on. Uh, as we go, everybody, we're going to. Uh, get all kinds of people. Right. So uh, when I zoom and pan in the map, it looks like almost half the tribal casinos in Washington are, are open. Um, and uh, some are still closed. Uh, some that are still closed are most of the tribal casinos along the coast. Uh, and those near Seattle, which, you know, makes perfect sense given it was such an epicenter. Um, for Oregon, uh, three tribal casinos along the coast have reopened, but the other nine or so tribal casinos further in haven't reopened. Uh, around seven tribal casinos have reopened in California. Now, this is the tour of the country I was telling you about. Seven tribal casinos have reopened in California, um, all east and south of Los Angeles, but either, but also north and uh, near or north San Diego. Uh, there's a Second, num second highest number of, slop of casinos in U.S. states is in California. So to have seven open out of, what is it, s nearly 70? Um, that's pretty, pretty, you know, I guess they're getting started. Another half dozen casinos uh, in Arizona have reopened about a quarter of all their casinos. About 30 tribal casinos are open in Oklahoma. That's the most biggest number so far, uh, which is similar to Arizona in that they too have only 25% of their casinos open. Uh, so or Oklahoma has about 25% open, uh, according to this map, according to this map this morning. Uh, Louis Louisiana uh, shows most of their tribal and commercial casinos have reopened with about a half dozen still closed. Um, by the way, uh, I got a note from Brian, a comment in uh, one of the slots communities from Brian about Louisiana, that uh, if you know Diamond Jacks in Boise, um, Boise City, my French, uh, has uh, permanently closed. I understood it wasn't, imp wasn't a very impressive casino, but that's just what I was told, and, and I don't actually know. I 
hadn't been there and looks like I won't ever be now. Uh, Mississippi and Kansas show a half dozen commercial casinos open along the Mississippi River between them, but it's hard to tell which casinos are on the east or west side of the river. Um, Okay, I won't do anything. Um, uh, slot machine wins by Chico. Hi. Uh, please understand that the live chat is not going to be available to anyone other than the 11 people currently on here. Um, it would be to your benefit uh, not to share any links um, if you want to stay. But again, no harm done. Just a few of us here. Nobody will see it later. Still, I don't I don't have a good feeling. If you wanted to work together, it won't be possible now. Uh, t -t 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 right, Mississippi and Kansas show a half dozen commercial casinos open along the Mississippi River. Now, um, if you zoom in enough on the map, you can begin to tell which one's on which side of the river. Uh, it is hard to tell which casinos are on the east or west side of the river, uh, so which state are they in. So it looks like there's a, you know, roughly half-ish, it looks like. Uh, Florida is showing two open casinos. One is the Seminole Hard Rock in Tampa, and ooh, I have to work on this one. Mikasaki Resort and Gaming Center in Miami. Uh, but as I happen to know, that is, uh, has only class two bingo style slot machines in North Carolina, uh, Harris, uh, Harris Cherokee Valley river in Murphy is open. Um, and is the very, as is the very popular Harris Cherokee in Cherokee. Uh, I got a little confused by the map because there's a bingo hall, uh, right next to just about on top of, uh, Harris Cherokee and, uh, you couldn't see the green, the, the blue under the red, right? The blue of Harris Cherokee being open and the red of Bingo, the Bingo Hall on top of it being closed. So make sure you zoom in enough to, to see uh, which casino is which when they're very close together physically. Um, any, I don't mean to tell you how to use a map, a Google map, but um, moving upward in the map, uh, we, we're down uh, in North Carolina, moving up from Florida, uh, we're going to head on up to uh, uh, New, Eng uh, New England. Um, I'm trying to remember from living there. Is New York one of the New, Eng New England colonies? In any case, uh, the only blue I can find in that whole region uh, was in eastern New, uh, um, excuse me, western New York. Uh, Lakeside Entertainment, um, and uh, that looks about, that's the only one anywhere near there. So as much as, uh, you know, the Midwest has been having a reopened casinos, uh, here in, you know, like in Ohio, I, I don't have a hope of it. Uh, there might be something in Michigan, but you know, there's restrictions that I have to work with, with with my day job about traveling, even personally. Um, and, uh, you know, automatic quarantine, uh, it's just there's restrictions on my travel. And But there's people in the, you know, all of New England, with the possible exception of Western New York, uh, who don't have an open casino. Uh, and so we are living vicariously uh, through others, um, through our slots communities for that sort of thing. Um, so sliding over to Michigan, there are currently uh, three open tribal casinos, but they're all in the Upper Peninsula. Uh, and this is, I'll make it this point later, but this is just what the map is showing now, not necessarily this afternoon, this evening, tomorrow, next week. Um, and, and so there's three open casinos. They're all in the Upper Peninsula. Uh, they're hard to reach if you're in the lower part of Michigan, but they're relatively easy to reach if you're in northern Wisconsin. So we're seeing activity on the Wisconsin slots community by people who are going to the Upper Peninsula, some of them just across the border uh, in Michigan, uh, and, you know, talking a bit about those casinos. Uh, now, I'm going to talk a little bit about Wisconsin uh, in a moment because it uh, looks like they're imminent on some of their casinos opening up. Uh, so back to the map, uh, it shows open casinos in Nebraska. Now, our it, the map does not show open casinos in Nebraska yet. 
our slots community for Nebraska says that they um, uh, actually it was another casino where they talked about it, another slots community that talked about it, not Nebraska. Um, they said that they went to two casinos that had opened uh, in Nebraska. Uh, and so I think this is this is a gaming regulations issue, a state gaming regulations issue. Uh, Nebraska is kind of tricky uh, with their gaming regulations. They're just different. Different is not necessarily bad, but different is different. Um, so uh, we don't need to go deep into this. I have an article on it, but uh, professorslots.com slash NE for Nebraska. Um, but all gambling is prohibited in Nebraska. All right. All gambling is prohibited in Nebraska, except for poker and other table games and a few other things. I think slots are actually uh, uh, not allowed, uh, but plenty uh, of what any other state would call gambling is available. So how do you, you know, if you don't understand that Nebraska has defined gambling different from everybody else, then you might say it has no casinos, but it certainly does if you use the more common definition. See, see, slot machine wins by Chico. Uh, um, is there like a name I can call you? Uh, if you, um, uh, you know, don't define things properly, if you use some different kind of definition, yours, mine's, theirs, if it's just misunderstood, then uh, you come across as misunderstood. So moving further west, two tribal casinos are shown as open in Box Elder and Azure, both in Montana. Further west, there are two tribal casinos open in Idaho. Uh, one is the, here's another name, uh, Too Many Vowels. Uh, well, it's not Too Many Vowels, it's just Too Many Vowels for me. Uh, Kootenaya, Kootenaya River in Bonners Ferry uh, and the popular uh, Cor de Lan. Cor de Lan. Uh, my French is terrible. Uh, in Worley, not uh, not far from the border to Washington. So you might have heard about that being open. Certainly, we've gotten a lot of a uh, uh, lot of community stuff activity from Washington about this Idaho uh, community uh, casino. So that completes our tour of the U.S. for open casinos. Overall. Far more tribal casinos are open than commercial casinos. The largest concentration of open casinos are in Oklahoma and the state of Washington. But remember, this online tool is live, so it only shows open casinos and not about to open casinos, our slot, Nebraska excluded. Our slots communities appear to be a much better place to find information on upcoming reopenings. That's just another reason to join your state's slots community, especially as much as, uh, as more and more states slowly open some of their casinos. Um, casinos aren't uh, reopening as fast as they close. I think everybody is aware of this, but I wanna make this point because I think it matters. Um, uh, what was it, uh, over less than two weeks that all casinos shut down uh, in mid to late March? Um, well, we're seeing reopenings happen a lot slower and not all at once for any given state. Uh, how, uh, Oklahoma started opening, I think it was probably first and only 25% of their, their casinos, and they have over 100 of them, depending on how you count them, again, definitions. Um, and uh, so, you know, as much as we talk about it, they're only 25% open. Uh, so uh, to keep up with this dynamic activity, whether or not your state has reopened casinos, you can find out about when they might be open because everybody, you know, we're slots enthusiasts, okay? We, we have inside information. Well, it's not technically inside information. We have, uh, we're members of uh, players clubs and we get information and we share it. And uh, so about even just about reopenings, you know, soft opens, invite only open openings, that sort of thing. So that's how to find out about that on a daily basis, on an hourly basis, whenever you want to go to your state by state community. I think it will help you. Um, so as prom as promised, I'm going to uh, go back to the live chat and see where that's at. Um, lots of comments. That's great. Let's see. 
Uh, yes, Frank uh, in New York, if I remember correctly, can't wait for Atlantic City, New Jersey to open their casinos. <laughs> he needs to win some money. Uh, yeah, we're all feeling the burn, man. We're all feeling the burn. Um, uh, Scott says, when I start back, I am taking a small notebook to keep track of dollars going in and what I come out with, date and time. Don't forget to put in the casino. Uh, maybe you only go to one casino, but that's what you need um, uh Right. Yeah. The, the wins loss statement is not, the the IRS says great have it, but it's not enough. Uh, it, it doesn't have the necessary information to actually do gambling records. But if you have gambling records and you also want to provide the win loss statement, they say, eh, you know, it's partial proof of the gambling records being accurate, like maybe your bank deposit slips would be. You know, um, uh, and that's, you know, they're not primary. Win loss statements are not primary. They can't be. They don't have the information that the IRS wants. Um, Dave, uh, win loss statements can be depressing sometimes. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Um, uh, and uh, to slot machine wins by Chico, uh, I'm just uh, doing a bit of pattern recognition um, and. Uh, thank you, um, Slot Machine Wins by Chico. I'm glad that you're here, and thank you so much uh, for your contribution. Much appreciated. Uh, Denise, yeah, yeah, that's Denise who's got it right. Yeah, I don't, I don't mean to jump on you. Slot Machine Wins by Chico. Just been as we grow, we're entering new eras, and um, I am highly protective on our uh, slots communities uh, website um, everywhere. I'm highly protective. I've made promises to my audience, uh, and people don't have to. You know, people don't actually have to cross a line for me to start worrying about them. Thank you, uh, Steve. Uh, says so Steve uh, says he's watching some videos on YouTube. <laughs> Why is my cat playing? Now I have another cat playing with the other end of I am um, this. Great. Um, uh, I won't try to pick her up, uh, him up, uh, because we know what happened last time with that. Those of you who listened before. Um, so Steve says I was watching some videos on YouTube in Deadwood, South Dakota, and seen some patterns on first spin bonuses happening. Uh, a couple were jackpots, and then some didn't pay anything. Uh, that was on live play. Uh, Right, as I know we've been putting, gee, a month now uh, into casino reopenings and before that, I think, um, casino closings, um, maybe four or five shows now, right, uh, into the reopenings and before that, the closings. But uh, that's the sort of thing we want to talk about normally, which is what patterns are you seeing? Um, one of the things that you have to that we, you know, I talk about is, you know, every casino sets up their slot machines differently, including some not setting them up at all. Uh, and, you know, some have a taste uh, that you can capture. Uh, and you look at my five pull method for that. But it isn't, a, it isn't you. I mean, you need to understand what the approach is. But it isn't you making it happen. It's you checking the, ca checking the casino to see if they are doing it. Um, you can't make them do it, uh, and you don't know if they've done it uh, unless, you know, somebody reports it on the uh, slots community uh, or this YouTube video, in which case you say, aha. You know, it's like looking at a, a, one of the five states that have uh, slot machine denominations by casino. Well, just slot machine denominations because there's five that do that and others that do less. And if you find, like, um, you know, a 98 re percent uh, return statistic, the actual, on a particular slot machine, and there's only four of them, you know, at that casino, like I did when I went to North um, uh, North Kansas City, uh, Harris, in North Kansas City in December. Uh, they have, uh, you know, you can find them uh, and and play them because you saw that, you know, in the last consistently in the last four months, they were high. Now, if you're a statistician, you'll know that it isn't, because, you know, you can't make future predictions on random data, on older random data. But this isn't random. This is a casino setup, all right? When you start understanding that casinos have something that they can do, 
uh, then uh, uh, you look for it. And there's a bunch. That's what my winning slots uh, 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 strategies are about, to see if, check your casino if they do that. Um, right. Uh, so I'm glad, uh, not to go too on too long about this, I'm glad you watched that video on YouTube uh, from uh, Deadwood, South Dakota. I'm glad that you saw that pattern. I wonder if anybody else saw it. Is it possibly because I mentioned patterns exist that made you go, that's a pattern? Because that, you know, when I when I walk into casinos and, you know, I, I know all the patterns that I know uh, and been looking for them for a couple of years now, uh, and I'm getting better at spotting them. Uh, uh, some can only be spotted if you're a local at the casino because you have to come back and come back and come back. But sometimes, some a lot of them you can, you know, develop an eye, an observation ability, and do exactly what you just did only by walking into a casino. Yeah. Well done. Uh, um, uh Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. There's a joke there. Um, uh, uh, slot machine wins by Chico. Um, just Chico. So I call you Chico or just Chico. Um, sorry. I'm just trying to be friendly. Um, Steve, uh, I think some of the machines were idle for some time. Uh, it was not very busy from what I could tell. See, he's now referring to another, uh, basically some a, a sort of a corollary to the five pull method. Um, and, and he wonders, right? And that's the sort of thing you could check out if you were there, but you can't really... You know, if they didn't notice on the video, then you can't really do anything about it. So, you know, you make a list of all the different possibilities and you go into a casino like I do when I go into a casino and say, oh, uh, right, so not this one, not this one, that's a maybe, this is a definite, you know, and you just look for them. Um, and sometimes every 10th visit I go, oh, that's a new one. That's a new one. I should look into that. Maybe write an article about it. Um, so, you know... I like, for instance, on the five pull method, which very briefly is uh, to make five bets uh, on a slot machine. Stop if you win anything at all. You know, on the first bet, you win anything at all, stop. Uh, and uh, for this method, uh, and then move on. Because the idea in the five pull method is to collect what the casinos are doing is they're, they're giving you a taste. They're going to give you a little win right there at the beginning, and then they want you to spend all that and whatever you brought with you, right? So I say, don't. I say, stop right then and collect the taste on the next slot machine and the test on the next slot machine and the test on the, and, and the taste. Um, and th you collect tastes. Now, you might say, well, that's really not that much money. But you know where I learned this? I learned this in a high-limit slot room, all right? And these tastes... There were hundreds or thousands of dollars. So, you know, and it, they, casinos that do this don't just do it. Um, uh, you know, it's, it's not any particular, it's all slot machines. It's all slot machines. And I'm like, well, if I can confirm it on a penny machine, making one penny bets or, you know, something where I'm not spending much money and it works like a charm because mm, to the best of my data collection at this point, it's about one in three casinos do this. Uh, why am I not walking over to the high limit room? You know, there might be 10 or 25 machines there, and you can only do it 10 or 25 machines, but it ain't no $10 that you're winning, all right? So uh, that's part of it. Um, uh, wise Virgin, uh, this is, again, definitions. Uh, I think I would have, uh, Richard asks, does my book go into pattern recognitions? I went thoroughly over pattern recognition. I just didn't use those words because they're threatening. Oh, pattern recognition. I couldn't do that. Uh, you mean I could try pulling the machine, making five bets and then stopping for before I get to five if I win anything at all? I can do that. But pattern recognition I can't do. Right. So um, when I was teaching physics, you know, there's difficult concepts, uh, complex, not easy, uh, but you can explain them so people understand, you know, kinetic coefficient of friction, um, uh, uh, static coefficient of friction. You know, this is all crazy talk, right? It's not even calculus, it's just, but it's still crazy talk. And so I would say, well, you know how when a bus stops? You know, this is a town where everybody rode the bus. You know how a bus stops, you come to a halt, and it goes, 
No, that's what I'm talking about. And they, they, you know, they come back later and they say, wow, I was just on the bus and it did that. And I thought about physics. So yeah, pattern recognition, but I don't have to call it that. And it's not a good idea to, my task is to help people. It is not to incorrectly make myself seem smarter or something. Uh, I am trying to help people. Yeah, but it's all pattern recognition. Well, so much of this is. I just, you want me to highlight the book? Just print it in yellow. Uh, I'm being facetious, but, you know, big part of it. Uh, so, Joe, um, yeah, uh, seriously, the other thing I want to say, because I'm talking more and more about the business, and it's the direction that I'm going. We're not static here. I'm moving forward. So every time we have one of these, like a clock moving, you know, it's going to be hours later before you know it. Um, I tell you guys everything, right? You want to win, ask, you know, ask a question. I will tell you what works. And I will also say, um, I am, what, what, it's, what, did, what did Chip Barron say in an email after last week? What did you say, Chip? You said, um, I am a realist, right? I, uh, I don't make grandiose statements. I don't say, hey, I've won millions and, you know, there's these people. Oh, it's just crazy. They'll come to you and they'll uh, try to take advantage, and it's like a knife to the heart. I've won millions and millions of dollars playing slots. I would have thought that you would have figured that out. And I'm like, really? I'm talking to a millionaire. I don't think so. You know, I wish. We all wish, and the more of a gambling addiction we have, the more we wish that. Uh, I explain how it is. Uh, what I know, what I figured out, and I figured out quite a bit, I suspect. Uh, there's more to figure out, but uh, the five pool method, you know, you find a casino that does that. That's all you ever have to do to make money. But then maybe you want to know another one. Maybe that casino gets bought by somebody else. Uh, and that new management says, no, we're not doing that anymore. We're going to do the thing we did at the other casinos that we own. And then, so maybe you need to know more than the five pool method, but if it works at your casino, you're done, right? Off, off you go. But um, sometimes we want to know more than that because we can save money with money management and we can save, you know, even with the five pull method. Uh, so, uh, and I've also seen that casinos that do the five pull method will sometimes slowly step away from it. That It still worked, but the, the amounts in the high limit room that I was at just month after month, it was always, it was just less because it was great for the casino, but slots enthusiasts who think about playing slots think about playing slots and they will notice these things um uh, uh and scott makes a good point um why five pulls uh, i picked that because i thought it was a good compromise um it's taste is usually in the first five pulls but sometimes in the, in the first 10 but sometimes it isn't so your profit may be a little bit less if you went to 10 but on the other hand maybe six is a better number Scott uses six, uh, and uh, so, you know, you have to decide whether it's five, six, seven, one, two, three. Um, I, I call it five, but that's it's adjustable uh, if you really get into it. Um, uh, thank you, Chico. Uh, let's see. He says, um, uh, loves the videos, keep up the good work. Um, you too. Uh, Dave says, uh, wouldn't it be the same, though, as doing five spins, cashing out, and then put money in again in five more pulls? Uh, that's two different um, winning strategies. And sometimes the casino does both. Sometimes they only do one. Sometimes idle machines win. Sometimes five pull, the, the taste idea, is what they do. Sometimes they do both. So this is, you know, for the most popular, most widespread winning slot strategy, maybe you take a moment and figure out which one it is. Because then you have, if so, if you say, take your card out, wait, um, you know, and put it for a second, put the card back in, well, maybe you should wait five minutes. You know, because the uh, winning slot strategy about, about, um, uh, uh, the idle machines really does depend. Is it half a day? You know, is it uh, until about noon on Sunday from whenever people left at 4 a.m. on Saturday or, the, you know, earlier? Or is it five minutes? And I've gone over and over this. There's, there's, 
uh, certain things happen when you pull the card out, but certain things happen if you wait an hour, and certain things happen that w- when you wait six hours. And all this is kind of parameters that the casino has at, at hand, and I don't want you to make the assumption that two things are going on at once when only one is, because I want you to win the profit. And it's not hard to check. It's very cheap. Uh, and so, you know, we I hope you understand that this stuff is meant for the thinking person, right? Uh, you, so anyway, we can, we can talk about that more sometime. Let's, uh, uh, get back to this. Uh, right. So Steve says most of the guys were betting $12.50 either on nickels, max bet or dimes, uh, high roller bets, but should work on any bet. Yes. Uh, that's the thing. Uh, almost all of the, there are some winning strategies where you would, at most, find three winning slot machines. You remember when I talked about this before? Three winning slot machines at a casino. All right, at most three, if any, at most three. Um, but there are one, and might be another one, sort of, one that is on all slot machines, either doing it or not doing it, is the five pull method. Anyway, this, I hope this isn't too complicated. Um, you want to win, you know? Um, so, and, and the biggest problem uh, that I have, that we have, is this is not how people think about winning at slots. Uh, it's only been possible since 2012, and even then it was only the upgraded casinos. But by now, everything but the Riverboat casinos have been upgraded. Uh, so check. It's cheap to check. Check. If it's not there, I'm sorry. If it is there, Enjoy. Right. Um, so, <laughs> um, uh, so uh, I'm going to. Um, oh, uh, uh, right. Yeah. Um, golden rule. Uh, there's comments here about how much bankroll depends on your bankroll, that sort of thing. Golden rule. Right. Don't bet more uh, than you can complete comfortably afford to lose, uh, and you know, stick with that. You can do high limit if you can pay for high limit, but it's also the five pull method is is the cheapest way to pi- pay high limit, um, you know. But it still costs money. And make sure you check out a low limit uh, before you move to high limit. But it's an easy next step. Okay, so uh, so there's a crazy number of comments going on in the Oklahoma uh, community. We've got a few minutes left, uh, and uh, I'm I'm hoping that well. Oklahoma has always been very active. I mentioned a couple weeks ago when they got to 200 members, right? Now, 300, uh, 285, but more have come in since we've been chatting here for almost an hour. Uh, so they're, they're just going by leaps and bounds. I think partly because 25% of their casinos reopened and people want to know stuff, partly because of this uh, uh, video and other things that I've done uh, previously. So uh, it's a very active group, and, and I'm also seeing that with Washington, and I'm also seeing that with several other th- other communities, and some are very quiet. Um, uh, who was it that was from New York? Uh, Frankie? Um, you know, I, I think you joined, uh, the, uh, your name sounds familiar, uh, joined the New York one, but what is that all about? Uh, it, uh, <laughs> they, they listen. Nobody talks. They just listen. <laughs> I used to live in Connecticut, so I, I kind of recognize some of this. Um, right, so uh, the Oklahoma had a uh, lucky star uh, uh, Conco. Is it, uh, the pronunciations are, I should look these things up uh, beforehand. Um, the se- entranceway security guard at lucky star uh Conco uh, tested positive for the virus, and he's the people. That, he was one of the people that more or less was doing uh, temperature checks, and um, you know there was a comments emotional people worry uh, about uh, what you know. I passed within you know less than six feet from somebody. Somebody you know reached out their hand and and uh, t- sh- shown a device onto my forehead. You know they were inches away. What the heck? Uh, and most of the comments were not pleased with uh, the casino uh, for not shutting down. But uh, we can talk about whether or not that would be the best idea, um, etc. Uh, but it's all very, you know, I'm not a medical professional to really 
I have my own opinions, but they're just personal opinions about whether or not. I, I'm in Ohio. I have restrictions on my day job where I can't travel unless perhaps I go into self-quarantine just in case because I'm an essential employee and we do stuff having to do with aviation that matters uh, about keeping that going. And so I, I can't go to a casino. I mean, there might be one open some week in June in Michigan. Uh, we'll see. Uh, I'd love to go, but I got things I can't risk. Um, anyway, that's personal decisions for all of us, right? Uh, so Washington community, uh, Washington slots community has had, I'm going to quickly get through these, uh, Washington slots community has come back with, seems like everything's tight. They're not really doing what Oklahoma was. seems like Oklahoma's odds of winning. There's two, if you win, how much you win. Uh, and Oklahoma seems to bump up the first or maybe leave it the same, but, um, yeah, but drop how much you won. So a lot of people were winning, but they weren't winning a lot. And that went over great. Okay, then they shut, sort of shut down after the casino had opened every day for after about four hours. That was the pattern that so many people had talked about in Oklahoma, Washington. It's tight right from the get-go. In fact, it's there's more detail there if you want to, if you're interested and want to join because Washington has its own little gaming regulations and casinos are taking advantage of it. And people who know their machines are like, "What? I can't. Geez, the gall." <laughs> Um, uh, so, uh, in Wisconsin's got some stuff coming up. I mostly mentioned, mostly mentioned that. Um, and I mentioned, uh, Nebraska and uh, definitions there, uh, and what all that means. Um, so I'll quickly check the live chat and say, um, planting season. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, Steve says, um, thanks. Uh, yeah, um, yeah. Talk amongst yourselves. Uh, ask what other people think. It's a great example of what we're seeing in the slots communities. Only the slots community might have three hundred people here, uh, you know, talking to one another. And certainly, everybody here is now is here on a holiday weekend. So great. Um, uh, appreciate everybody's uh, responses here. Um, All right, so Scott says we need an index to follow for next show, something we can see to comment on when the show starts. I have to think about what you mean by that. Uh, could you send me an email explaining what you mean by that? We need an index to follow for next show, something we can see to comment on when the show starts. I'm not quite sure what you mean by that. Um, uh, so Scott, we're posted where posted on YouTube oh you want me to do like a pre video uh, talk about hey I have an online show it's on Saturdays and uh, this next Saturday will be this and just do like a 30 second minute long video uh, if you think that'll work um, uh, is that done um, I'm all for it uh, if you th if it if it helps people um, I'll, I'll, I'll look into that uh, excellent um, so, uh, please, everybody, um, have fun, be safe, and, um, uh, you know, make good choices. And Dave, I won't forget, I'm working on it. <laughs> he wants to know about the shirts. Um, uh, I'm going to get one in and wear it on a show, and, and you'll uh, probably be the first you see of it. Um, I'm trying to set up someplace where you can buy them. I can buy them, but... Um, Yep. All right. Uh, all right. We've got uh, at least two people saying pre-videos, uh, recorded videos to let people know. Um, will do. Uh, the next one for next week will be, uh, I'll set it up momentarily, uh, and it'll just sit there. And so you could start commenting now if you wanted to, or com com start commenting in half an hour. Um, but, uh, you know, I got to build it and stuff. So, yeah, um, pre-video. Excellent. And we're over. Um, a 15 minute preview. Nobody's going to want a 15 minute. Uh, uh, they say the longest a video should be unless you're live is eight minutes. And even then, that's a long, long time. I will do a preview. Uh, and we will at the, of the specified length of all the experts that I've heard. And then um, we'll see. We'll see. I, I, uh, I'll look into it. The first one won't be the best one. Uh, <laughs> six months later, we'll be doing great. Uh, but it's an excellent suggestion, and we'll grow on it. Um, uh, Sal's here. Uh, I know I'm going over. 
Um, you, you know, if you need to leave, that's fine. Sal says is here from Massachusetts. Boxwoods and Mohegan Sun in Connecticut scheduled to open June 1st. Uh, and um, uh, every other machine activated per their update. Great. Good to know. Oh, Scott, what's a live 15-minute preview? I don't have to think about that because I don't see how it could be a preview. I could have a video, a live video, that would be two live videos a week where the first one says there's a longer one later. I got to figure out how all this works together, but I'll think about it seriously, Scott. Thank you for the suggestion. Um, let's see if I can make it work with all the other boulders that I'm juggling. All right. Um, I'm over. First time that I'm over. Uh, have fun. Be safe. Make good choices.